So, hey guys. Hey. Uh, is this your first time in Brazil? First time. Yes. yes. Not my first time. I've been before. I came about five years ago. I to Sao Paulo, actually. So I know yeah. what the fans here are like. And that's why I was so excited to come back yeah, and to meet intense. them again. So they can be intense, right? Yeah. In a, in a good way. In the best They're way. awesome. Uh, and did you have a chance to learn any words or? Uh, hola. Oh, I've gone already. One. Give it, give it. Here we go. Here we go. Tu também? Tu, tu também? Olá, galera. Beijos. 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 Okay, beijos. That's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Very similar to the Brazilian pronunciation. I'm I'm Brazilian, so uh, so we have really good. Uh, we just uh, had the opportunity to just see the first teaser for three body problem and i have to tell you guys it looks uh exciting uh it lo it has it's visually stunning uh it looks ambitious yes uh and i want to know for you guys uh are you well, what are you guys most excited for people to see of course without getting into any spoilers i think in a, in a funny kind of way we're excited to see it as much as everybody else is because because we shot a lot of it so long ago and it's a lot of it's on green screen so you can't really see what's going on when we saw the trailer it was the first time we'd seen a lot of those visual effects ourselves so we didn't really get a sense of what it was like when we were filming it so we can't wait for people to see all of that the finished product but likewise we're just as excited as we hope they are to see it uh what about you guys that want to talk about there's so many cool things to look forward to um I think there are just so many twists and turns, so I can't wait for everyone to go, oh, okay, this is the show. Oh, no, oh, this is the show. Oh, this is also the show. There's just so many layers to it, so it's like peeling an onion, you know? Hopefully, we'll make everyone cry as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that's exciting. Uh, another thing that uh, we don't know much or maybe at all about your characters because everything is kept on the wraps. Yeah. So I like for each of you to tell us a little bit, if you can, uh, what what do you like most about your character when you approached it and all this general stuff without getting into any spoilers, of course. Yes. Well, the writing um, is so incredible, and the, the dialogue is so rich, and uh, I like just how full and human my character felt, and how fleshed out um, and and profound uh his arc is and uh yeah i was just excited aside from it being like a truly spectacular um level production uh just also the very human storyline was a, a delicious thing as an actor to, to get to yeah i think i have to agree and it's, it's something about seeing characters specifically for me but also for all of the characters in the show that they're flawed in their own ways i think it's it's it can get boring if you're watching programs or you have like these cutouts of different archetypes of characters. And I like to see people who are people. And these are people that audiences, when they watch the show, they can relate to the people that they're seeing on the screen and relate to the things that they're going through. So that's what I really enjoy to piggyback off of Alex uh, about the dialogue and about how these different uh, characters were interacting with each other throughout the series. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just like the complexity of all these characters and just seeing them all sort of interweaving all, the, all all in their different journeys. I mean, I think, uh, oh God, I mean, can we talk about much about your characters? It's really, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's incredibly committed, you know, and uh, I sort of like gumshoe of the piece where uh, nothing else matters, but everything for the greater good. Oh. There you go. Okay, great. What about you, John? What's something about your character? It was an interesting one for me, actually, because before I'd even read this, this first script, I got a message from David and Dan, who I'd worked with on Game of Thrones for all those years, telling me uh, that this character was the, was the character most like the real me that I'm ever going to play. And so then, then it was a case of waiting for the script to find out what they, what kind of guy they think I am. John's a multimillionaire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and so we, I hope people are going to have to wait and find out whether I was flattered by that or whether I was so <laughs> gravely insulted. <laughs> okay. All right. That leaves you, Jess. Uh, let's see. I love how ambitious and driven my character is. She is very, uh, in a way, I'm similar, but I'm much more kind of 
Oh, let's see what happens. Whereas she's very focused on her goals um, to the point where, you know, she loses sight of other things sometimes. And that's kind of one of her flaws. And I love that what makes her great in her field is also what makes her um, not so great in life. <laughs> I love that kind of duality in her. Um, and yeah, just her cur curiosity about the world because I feel like everybody could remember to be more curious about what's happening around them. Okay, all right, that's great. Uh, so we're talking sci-fi, right? Uh, yeah, ambitious projects. And I want to know about you guys. Are you big on sci-fi? Are you huge sci-fi fans? Favorite sci-fi movies? Do you want to talk a little bit about that? I really enjoyed Arrival. Oh, I, really I love Arrival. That, that was a, that's one that I've I've rewatched a few times, and I've uh, I've gotten more interested in sci-fi as of, as of late. But I really enjoy the sci-fi uh, material that isn't just sci-fi, and I think that's another testament to why everybody wanted to come on board to do this project as well, is because there are so many themes that are discussed in this science fiction uh, series that it's 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 really exciting and compelling. And I think, again, the audiences will really relate to all of the themes discussed and fans who may not be traditionally sci-fi fans uh, would, would find themselves watching the show. Uh, not particularly a sci-fi fan, but um, I mean, I like I like to rival. I like, uh, yeah, if it's good, then it's good. Um, yeah, if it's good storytelling. Um, I think what's exciting about this this project is it's it's sci-fi, it's a thriller, it's action, it's drama. It's, uh, it is incredible. I think you said ambitious earlier. I think what they have tried to do with, this, uh, with these books, these unbelievable books, is super ambitious and super exciting. Um, so yeah, it's uh, thrilling to be part of it for that reason. And, and the sci-fi element as well. Since you mentioned the books, um, did you guys, uh, did you have heard before about the, the novels that inspired the books? Or this is your first contact with the Three Red I'd heard of it, but I hadn't read them. Yeah, same. I I, I heard of it, and I, and I knew that the the reputation that these books had for being sort of adult focused, very very dense sci sci fi, but but rooted in a sort of scientific reality as well, almost. But I hadn't read them, so so. But I I, I think I think what David and Dan have always been very and Alex are, are very good at is taking the books which are quite dense and quite scientific and making them. Uh, approachable and making them feel familiar and making them uh, making them human. So if you're fans of the books, you'll love the show. But but the shows a, a sort of slightly different thing. Yeah, and and sort of like much more palatable as well, isn't there? Uh, uh, that's uh, yeah, and it's, um, I I really uh, love what they've done with the adaptation of it. Yeah, we we'll go right, guys. Uh, so I have, I think I have a quick question because I have a very short time. Uh, uh, what can you tell me, can if you can, uh, about Welcome to Derry? Can you say something? Or? Uh, what? Um, it's caught me off guard. I mean, it's it's being made by the same creators of, of, of the films, and everybody's really excited and working on it. And it was working hard. We're, 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 we just started filming, so there's very little that I can tell you because we're still in the thick of it. But it's it's, it's an exciting project for sure. Uh, Benedict, uh, I want to tell, ask you, do you know when we'll see Sorcerer Supreme again? Um, well, I sing every time I look in the mirror. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah, I do, cleaning the mirrors. And, you know, but um, I don't know, you know, there's a special phone in the corner that, that rings every now and then, yeah. yeah. So, so far, this, this phone hasn't... Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So you're waiting for this phone? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, right, guys. Okay. Okay.